morning ladies I'm going to try and do this again I did try and film it before but I had that many interruptions I ended up pausing the video and when I went to restart it it gone completely so I'm doing this again so I do apologize and um, the last cards we made I know by watching the video you didn't see them that well so I hope you can see them there Yep, that was the last one that we made with the flower on and the wink of Stella. And that was the one that I'd previous made. <laughs> um, so they are the finished cards. So I know you didn't get to see that before because I was out of frame. So I'm very sorry and I do apologise. Um, so anyway, we'll get on and we'll make this card. And it's a shaky card. Because everywhere you look at the mini, that's all you see is the shaker cards. And this stamp set, I absolutely love it. It's a hostess stamp set. Um, and hostess means if you hold a stamp up party and you get orders totaling £150 or over, you qualify for a hostess stamp set and this one's called love you lots and i do i absolutely love it um or failing that if you place your own order with stampin up um and you spend 150 pounds you also qualify for a hostess stamp set um which is free so just bear that in mind when you're ordering from Stampin' Up. And I would love for you to run along to my store and order from me. <laughs> um, this just contains... That's how I store my stamps, by the way. Um, so, yeah, so as I say, I already started putting it together, as you can see. Um, but I will run through what I've used. Okay. So the cardstock that I've actually built the card with is basic grey. And it's just four and a half, uh, A4, sorry, cut in half and scored in the middle. Okay. Then I've used the basic black, which is cut three and seven eighths by five and six eighths okay and then this layer is three and five eighths by five and a quarter okay and then you take your heart framelits and cut out a window and then you use one of the window sheets which is, they call it window sheets, it's actually, it's acetate, that's all it is, but they call them window sheets, and um, so you take one of them, now on Stampin' Up, they sell the dimensional strips, um, but I'm just using the shaker foam, but they do sell the strips um, and I think they've only started selling them recently to be honest with you um, yeah so it'll make life much easier because you won't have all these lumps and bumps and because they are the very thin strips that they sell so if you need some of them run along and just have a look and um, so but I'm just using what I've got at, at the minute until I put my order in at the end of the month and we'll say nothing about that because <laughs> I think I have more stamping up stuff than what I, I have anything else so this is going to go behind the window there um, and it's just an off cut square that I've cut of the paper uh, very vanilla okay and I'm just going to stamp me little message in there 
like I've done on the back of that one. And that one says you're always there for me. And this one is going to say, thank you, friend. Because I have a lot of wonderful friends. And I'm just random stamping because all of it won't be seen. But I do want the message um, to be seen. Oops, that one didn't come out quite. Uh -oh. Turn it over. No one will know. <laughs> Start again, Mel. And then I've gone and done the tilapies and all. Look. <laughs> Do you know what it is? Because I'm actually using the stamping mat and I don't need to use it. So I will just cut off another square of berry vanilla. <laughs> oh, do you know, it could only ever happen to me every time I sit down to do a video. Oh, dear. Right, let's see if this will fit. Hands are all swollen and just not having the best of time at the minute. Yeah, that'll fit. That'll do. That'll do as grand. So try again. I took the stamp and that out so we should be okay. Just not happening today for some reason. So that's all I've done. I've just stamped thank you friend on the whole of that and that is going to go behind there so that you can see and what I'm going to do is I've picked up a selection of sequins and because on a shaker card they all tend to go to the bottom I'm just going to stick a couple of random sequins to the back.
So that's all I've done. I've just stuck a couple so that when the card's together, you can see the sequence. And all we're going to do now is remove this backing tape. And you have to make sure that you have no gaps in between and don't go over your um, cut out. And I'll give you another tip as well. See if you have one of the embossed bodies, just rub over that acetate ever so gently um, with your embossed body. And that way it cuts down on static. And just place that on the back. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you get the idea. So there's that. And then we're just going to put our in tape on just on the top half because I've already put um, some sponge tape on the bottom half shaker tape <clears throat> yeah, so every time the minute I sit down to do a video Either someone calls me or my phone goes or someone walks in or it's just a bit unlike me. <laughs> I'm trying to keep myself busy and occupied at the minute. Um, but a little thing called life keeps getting in the way. <laughs> So we're just going to line this up. Right, now I've also pulled out, see I had this all prepared from before, <laughs> um, on Stampin' Up you can get a silver and gold thread um, and in the new catalogue I believe they're doing it in real red and emerald envy as well. So all I do is I wrap it around my fingers, three fingers. And I use quite a bit of it. And just keep wrapping it round. And then what I'll do is I'll wrap it in between my fingers. 
and then I'll swirl in. Doesn't want to go. Okay. So take it off your fingers once you've got it wrapped a couple of times. And then just tie a knot in it <coughs> so it doesn't come undone. Cut your bits off. I have no glue dots handy, so I have to just use a bit of tape. Can stick it off the side of the heart. And you can spread that out if you like, it doesn't actually looks better if it's spread out. over the top and there's your shaker card and I'm sorry you'd only got to see halfway through um, and I will put an insert in um, but yeah that one I done in smoky slate and that one is classic grey but there's the two cards and as I say the stamps that we used was the elephant out of the love you lots and it's a hostess stamp set um, <clears throat> if you want to order from my store it's Melissa Hatton stampin up dot com and if you want to go and visit my blog I've put a few pictures of my cards and all on my blog and that's Mel's Crafting Space and um, craftyspace dot com um, Jackie Douglas very kindly set it up for me um, so yeah I hope you have a go and let me see what you can come up with. So thank you very much ladies. I'm sorry you'd only got to see a part of it. Thank God says you. <laughs> um, and take care for now and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye bye, take care.